Hello, my name's Eli Schenkel, and I'm a, I'm a shoe salesman. I can sell you the only the best brands of shoes, like these perky little guys right here. The Phil, Phil A shoe for 80 bucks. Come and get it. Actually, I started diving into my deeper thoughts and my mind, and I really wouldn't want you to pick up the fillet shoes for 80 bucks because I talked to the big man and I put my two weeks in so I'm not gonna be here for much longer. This is why I decided to film one of my last days as a shoe salesman and well on this day it just so happened to be St. Patrick's Day. Eli, what in the world are you wearing? That's a, such an odd attire of outfit you have on. What even is that around your neck and in your pocket? Well, one time my dad told me that I was like some sort of Irish boy or something like that. So I decided to go back to my Irish roots and well, although intimidating, I knew I had to do it and I had to get down to the root and to wear the stuff that only the true Irish would understand. If you're not Irish, let me spell it out for you. This is the lucky gnome that every little Irish child gets when they turn the age of seven. This gnome brings good luck to all the children and comes out on St. Patrick's Day. And this is Grey Gooka the Dragon the fierce deliverer of good luck to all the Irish children. Very famous in Irish folklore. This is the dragon, the Grey Gooka Irish dragon deliverer of good luck. And this is my lucky gnome that I got oh. when I was seven. Oh, yeah. But do you like my uh, St. Patrick's Day wear, my Irish yeah, roots? Looks, looks good on you. Well, it's good to see someone around here gets it. I'm tired of all the, uh, I'm, I'm tired of none of the people really understanding my motivations here. So what does it take to be a shoe salesman? Well, one part of the deal is you gotta put your paper advertisement slips into the clear slip with the magnet on it so you can stick it on a rack. I want all my customers to know where the leather lotion is and how much it costs because I got so much leather lotion on my hands and here's some in the back and i just can't get rid of it but people need to buy more leather lotion hey man you also have to be a smooth talker with the customers you know like get them engaged into the conversation help them buy the sh shoe what's your favorite moment with this fine young man Last but not least, you gotta bring something to keep you entertained, like a Game Boy, because people are boring. I've been unemployed for one month now. I'm writing this journal because I have nothing better to do. I really don't know what to do. And part of it is because of, well, I was going to a restaurant and something really cool happened. Oh yeah, um, this is me by the way. A lot has happened in one month. Anyways, at the restaurant, I got a straw, or so did I think. This was a straw wrapper that was sealed without a straw. I told all the trendy people at the local Starbucks about my discovery of the straw that wasn't even wrapped in the wrapper, but the wrapper was sealed. I told them about that, and they went to write an Amazon bestseller book about my discovery, and then I made like a million coins. The end.